what is up my ASMR and fragrance family. It is your boy, your whispering perfume pimp, Christopher Cologne, and I am back with another video. So what I have today is colognes to wear for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So it's going to be a few different ones, but like, so Christmas Eve, you know, it's nighttime, got the family over, everybody's over for dinner this and that so you want something or me personally this is what I this is what I want I want something more like closer to maybe like a date night fragrance or since you're gonna be a, you know if you're at your house or well it don't really matter you can go with something fresh too but me personally I'm gonna go with maybe something like a uh, I wanted Christmas in Egypt, but my Christmas in Egypt that is in something like this, I cannot find. So, uh, did, hold on, did I say in something like this that is in one of these? I cannot find. I don't know where it went. I have no clue. So, I can't really do it, but Christmas in Egypt is one of my favorites. I love it. I just can't. I don't know where it went to, but okay. So, I like something like, uh, um, Ohm by Usher. Ohm by Usher is saffron fragrance. Oh, smells so good. 15, you can get one of these, or actually I think it's a bigger bottle for 15 bucks. Why this stuff is so cheap, I don't know. This is one of my absolute favorites. I think it should be, uh, you know, well, it sh I don't think it should be, but I definitely pay more than $15 for it, so, but, uh, yeah, so, but, y'all get a spray, I get a spray. <sighs> yeah, this has apple, saffron, uh, cardamom, tonka bean, uh, ambroxan, mandarin orange that's just some of the notes but yeah now the ambroxan is in the bottom now the saffron the apple the mandarin orange there at the top but like the uh the cardamom and the jasmine are, are middle notes so but yeah and as uh and as ginger in it too so but this one's good for this one will be good for Christmas Eve family get together and everything. So, there's that one. Okay. Or, you know, you can go with something. You can go with a darker fragrance like Geneva chocolate. The only note to this and then even on their own website that I've seen is Swiss chocolate. Or, I mean, uh, just, uh, is it Swiss chocolate? I don't remember, but it's just chocolate. But to me, this smells like, uh, a, a really high-grade hot cocoa. So, I mean, that's all it smells like is just hot cocoa. Oh, spray for y'all. Well, spray for both of us. But, yeah, that's Geneva chocolate. I'm just going to go with these are just good colognes for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, uh, I don't know. That might have been what I said originally. But, yeah. And then you got House of Eight, which is a chocolate fragrance, uh, mainly based on chocolate by Sniff. Now, I wish I had a full bottle of this, too. But, yeah. Spray for me. Spray for y'all. That smells good. It smells really good combined those other two. But, but y'all know me, I like layering stuff and everything, so but yeah, this has chocolate and uh I can't remember the other notes to it. Hold on, we're gonna look up the notes to this. Okay, so the house of eight. The notes are chocolate vanilla. It says a combination of chocolate vanilla and sandalwood balanced out by sage and uh and iris. And it does 
It does have a creaminess to it. It has like a very, very slight fruitiness, really slight fruitiness. Um, has a little bit of a powderiness, a little bit of a creaminess to it. But yeah, I love it. You can smell the vanilla in there with it. So yeah, this is a good one too. House of Eight by Sniff. Now, here's one that I don't ever talk about and I don't ever wear and I don't know why because when I pulled this out, just looking through it, I sprayed it and smelled it and I really like it. So, I don't understand why I don't ever wear this. This is Salvatore Ferragamo's F Black. F Black. And I have uh, F. So, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. I have Encanto is the other one because I have Encanto and I have Encanto Blue. Those are other ones I don't ever talk about. I don't know why I don't talk about these fragrances or anything. My screen, or not my screen, but my screen protector is cracked and I thought it was dirt on my shoulder. But uh, that's why I was doing like that. But yeah, so I don't know why I never, I never wear this or anything because, like I said, it smells good. So, I'm going to get a spray. A spray for me. And a spray for y'all. And the, the notes to this, it's got some, it's got some, uh, you know, fresh notes. And then it's got like pepper and stuff like that too. If my phone would quit. Yeah, so the top notes are lavender and apple. The middle notes are black pepper and coriander. And the base notes are tonka bean and labdanum. And this right here, I think, is a good year-round fragrance. It's just one that I, for some reason, don't grab and I forgot all about. I mean, you can tell I don't ever wear it, which is kind of ridiculous, honestly. So, but yeah. This would be another good one that you could wear for like Christmas Eve night when you're around family and all that. Okay, so we're going to sniff right quick. Okay. So, now if you want to go with something just safe, you know, just real vanilla, then tattoo by Jean-Marc Perry is good. Now, Michel Germain has a tattoo also, but I've, I haven't smelled it, and I like this one, and it's a cheapie, so, but yeah, you could, you could rock this one. It's not powdery or anything like that. It's just a spray for me, spray for y'all, and I've never noticed the fizz in this. It has a slight fizziness to it. But yeah, I'm trying to remember all the notes that this thing has in it, but this is one of my favorite ones, so, but yeah. It's a real vanilla fragrance. Okay, so I went ahead and looked up the notes so we get a whole note breakdown. And this is according to PerfumeLion.com. So, uh, the top notes are bergamot, clementine, and melon. And the middle notes are African geranium, French pedigree, and French lavender. And the hard, note, and the hard notes are Indian patchouli, patchouli, tonka bean, and Madagascar vanilla. Now, it don't really smell like it has melon. Yeah, you know, we've talked about this a lot. And I can't remember the exact notes that I've said before, but I don't really remember saying melon before. Do y'all remember me saying melon? Because I don't think I do. Because I don't smell, smell uh, melon in it at all. So, but anyway, it's a good one. Heavy on the vanilla. I think it's a safe wear. Okay, now, um... If you want another safe wear for Christmas. Why not go with a Sorrow Wild Mint? 
that's what it smells like. It smells like just straight up mint. It smells like a good spearmint. Now, if you want to spice up the Zara Wild Mint, you can always add a Zara Hot Pepper. So you got the cayenne and pink pepper and everything spicing up this. So they go together great. These are actually one of my favorites. Layers. Spray for me. Spray for y'all. Okay. So that's that. Now another one you can do is Dr. Squatch. We're going to go all natural. Dr. Squatch. Uh, woodland Pine. Smells like... If I remember right, because it's been a while, it smells kind of like, uh, smells kind of like, um, polo green, but way better. I like this a lot better. But to me, this smells like Irish Spring meets, meets pine salt. Irish Spring meets pine salt, so. Spray for me, spray for y'all, and you want to know, wait, I want to see something. We're going to see what wild mint and woodland pine smell like. This is either going to go really good or it's going to go really bad. One of the two. That's actually really good. It's interesting. It's not something that you would... It's not something that would... Like... It would grab you really fast. But it's one of those things that I think the more you smell it, the more you'd be like, mm, that smells really good, honestly. So, but yeah. So that's what this one smells like to me. Uh, Irish Spring meets, meets, uh, God, I don't know why I can't think of it. Pine salt. And it smells a lot like polo green. So, that is Dr. Squatch. Make video. 
videos, we gotta have different talking points. So. So yeah, there's that one. And then, another one I can go with is one of my other favorites. Fragrance Worlds Mocha Wood. Nice $20 fragrance. Smells like root beer. Smells like root beer meets vanilla ice cream. Yeah. So, spray for y'all. Spray for me. Oh, I love this stuff. And $20, man. $20. That is great. And I know it's a clone of something, but I don't know what. So, but yeah. That's Fragrance World's Mocha Wood. I'm trying to go through these kind of quick, y'all, since I got so many. And then another gourmand that I have, which these last two are do a brand, is Chocolatey Jazz, Chocolatey Jasmine Charm. Chocolatey Jasmine Charm. So, let's break for y'all. Let's break for me. This, I don't know if I like this or not. It smells good, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna look up the notes. Okay, so the notes to this are orange, bergamot, fruity notes, Moroccan rose, um, Egyptian jasmine, Indonesian patchouli, uh, caramel, amber, mossy notes, chocolate, white musk, tonka beans, and vanilla. That is for chocolatey jasmine charm. I guess I can smell a little bit of the bergamot and stuff in it, but and the fruitiness to it a little bit. a lot of these gourmands that have chocolate in them have a vanilla 
have vanilla notes in with it. So maybe that's why I, think, I was thinking I was smelling chocolate. I don't know. Maybe my nose is just off too. So, because I've noticed some of these scents when I start spraying a lot of them, I start smelling. <laughs> I start smelling like a, a corn chip type smell. So, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, these are. That is pistachio cream delight. Okay, so you could wear these. These gourmands would be good for breakfast. They'd be good for uh, Christmas Eve night, all throughout Christmas Day. I think any of these would be good. I have more, but you know, I'm not trying to have a three hour long video, you know. So, uh, and what I gotta start doing, I've noticed, what I gotta start doing is I gotta start looking at right there because I've noticed when I'm watching these back, it doesn't really look like I'm looking at the camera. It looks like kind of like I'm looking somewhere else. But I guess it's because I'm not looking at the camera. Like I'm looking right here. Whenever I'm whenever I'm looking, I'm looking right here where my finger is. But where the camera is, is right here. So that's probably the reason why I look, I look like I'm looking other places now. If the phone was turned, because I got the phone sideways, if the phone was turned, it probably wouldn't be like that. But I can't help but look straight at the screen because I think I'm pretty. No, I'm just joking. I think I'm fat and my, my cheeks are too, too pudgy. So, but, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I just like really seeing what I'm doing on camera so I know it's not all messed up. And y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all think this badge is way too big or you think, and think it should be smaller. Y'all think it's a good size. I think we made it way too big on this one, but stands out. So, but I'm gonna get off here, y'all. And this is probably my last video till Monday. This is Friday, so I don't know. I might do some more over the weekend. I'm gonna definitely have to, because I'd like to keep my videos coming even next week after I have the surgery. So. I'm not going to be able to drop nothing on Wednesday. I'm not going to be able to drop nothing on Thursday or record anything on Wednesday or record anything on Thursday, probably. So, it'll probably take me at least two or three days. I don't know. I've never had my gallbladder cut out before, so. But I'm going to get off here, y'all. And I'm going to drop another video for Christmas Day. So, but if by some chance something happens to where I don't get to, Y'all have a Merry Christmas. I hope y'all Merry Christmas, holiday, happy holidays, whatever. So and I hope y'all get to I hope y'all get the most important thing, and that's to spend time with your loved ones and everything. Fuck the presents. The presents ain't shit. But I'm gonna get off here before I go into another ramble. Y'all take it easy and peace, 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 peace.